Hey guys, welcome to another episode. So today we're going to be talking about strawberries. Again, <laughs> I know, another strawberry episode. But I just had a really good scenario come up where I have all three of my varieties ripening at the same time where I can try them. And I also have some store-bought, or a store-bought strawberry that I want to compare them all to. So for starters, we have a pine berry right here. This is my Quinault, and then this is my All-Star variety. Now, these two are in small cups because they're my propagation cups. Um, this is not really how I like, normally grow the fruit itself. I grow them all in containers, as a lot of you will know. And, um, but yeah, this one just so happened to have a pretty ripe pine berry on it. So it's one of the reasons why I brought it in. And this one is just here because I just wanted to, um, you know, have a Quinault here as well to show off as well. And um, yeah, this is my all-star here. Uh, generally, the strawberries seem to be a little bit on the smaller side. You know, you can see here, they're not really all that big. And um, that seems to be a pretty common thing for my, for the variety. Um, my Quinault, however, are always a good size. Uh, the pine berries are generally a little smaller as well, but that's that's pretty normal for them. So, and then of course you have the store-bought strawberries, which are always ginormous. <laughs> which, uh, yeah, my strawberries are not going to get this size, I don't think. Maybe at some point it could be a variety thing as well. I'm not sure exactly what varieties uh, grocery stores grow, but they generally are quite large. So, we'll. Uh, start trying them here in a little bit. But first off, I just wanna show you a little bit on how to tell them apart. So my pine berry here, here at the base, the base of the leaf, they tend to be a little bit more red. Sometimes also, <clears throat> excuse me, sometimes at the top of this where the strawberry starts to form, there might be some pink blushing or uh, some redness there as well. These ones don't show it too much, but on some of the ones I have outside, and you can definitely tell it a little bit more. So another one, another thing that you can sometimes tell the pine berries apart, which I'll show you a good area. Well, it's really pretty universally, pretty easy to tell that there's uh, more red in the, the roots themselves. The, the roots tend to have some redness to them. Sometimes they're all red. Uh, so that's really a pretty defining characteristic of the pine berry. It's just that the overall more redness that is present within the plant and the roots. Whereas with a quinault, that is not the case at all. They're just normal looking roots. There's no redness to them whatsoever. So that's, uh, and there's no redness in the leaves either. Um, nothing like that. So that's uh, pretty characteristic of the, the, the Quinault. I, I can tell them apart very easily just by those two things alone. The All-Star um, also has some redness in the roots, but just the overall look, to, look of them is just different. The pine berries tend to be a little bit paler in color in the leaves as compared to the All-Star, which are always a very uh, deep dark green as compared to the pine berry there. And then these two are also pretty similar. The Quinault has a pretty uh, dark green leaf as well. So let's start trying them. So the first thing that I'll, the first one that I'll try will probably be the, the store-bought as a bit of a control to all the other ones. And since it's pretty large, I can actually just, you know, only eat parts of it. And so I can still kind of differentiate it out between all the other ones. So I don't eat, won't eat the whole thing. So let's take a bite off of this guy first. I picked the most red, most ripe looking one that I have uh, because generally what happens is they're not completely ripe. As a lot of you will know, if you buy produce in the grocery store, a lot of the times it's not been ripened all the way. So I try to at least pick the most ripe one that I could. So let's take a bite of this first. Yeah. Maybe a little overripe, actually. 
but it's good. It's pretty nice and sweet, of course. Now, this one is actually pretty decently ripe, so it has a good sweetness to it. Uh, sometimes you get um, the strawberries that you buy in the store they tend to be a little bit sour. That's why a lot of people will sometimes put some sugar or something like that on it. Um, this one, you actually wouldn't have to do that. It's relatively sweet and it has decent strawberry flavor. Let's now try, actually, I want to start with this one first. So let's try the All Star. Now this is a very, very ripe one. It's not very big, but it's nice and ripe. You know, a little, a little thing that I like about the other varieties is that the leaves actually go away from the fruit. So with like say quenault and uh, even the, the pine berries do it as well. You can just grab it by the top and you can just eat the whole thing. Which uh, my pine berry does that as well. It makes for a pretty easy eating. Whereas with uh, my all-star, I have to kind of pull the leaves back. Maybe it's minor, but even still, it's a difference. So let's go ahead and try that. It's pretty sweet. It's not as sweet as the um, as the store bone one, surprisingly. Mm. But overall, it has good flavor. I would say that the flavor. I'm gonna try another one. But I would say that the flavor is a little bit stronger. I'm gonna try this one. No. Okay, so the flavor, it has more strawberry flavor to it. This one is, is mostly just sweet. You get some strawberry flavor, but there just isn't too much of it. You get more of it in that all-star variety there. So the next one that I'll try, actually, let me take one out of this, out, this one again. It's gonna get the flavor again. Yeah. That's pretty interesting. Mostly just getting sweetness. It's not um, not overly flavorful. I'm not just saying that, it's it's really just the way they taste. So the next one, this is a very ripe uh, quenault, which I am quite excited about. This one is very nicely ripened. Okay. Mm. Yeah. You get a much more full bite. It does it does really make a difference. Uh, but these ones are so small you don't get you know quite of a, a full mouthful of strawberry. But these ones you really do get um, a good mouthful. And um, yeah, overall the flavor, flavor is really good. Um I would say it's about it's about on par with the, with this one. Nice sweetness, good strawberry flavor. Um, yeah, but it has the benefit, in my opinion, of having that the leaves be pulled back a little bit to make it a little easier to eat. Okay, so now I'm gonna try both of these pine berries here. Now, if you remember in my first pine berry video, I tasted a pine berry and I just didn't get any pineapple flavor, which is said to have a little bit of pineapple flavor to it. Uh, I really didn't get any of that. So this one, I'm going to try it again. There is a little bit of green on here, but for the most part, it has a nice pink blushing. Uh, a lot of the times the seeds will turn a little bit of a red color as well, which is something that all the other strawberries don't do. So yeah, should be pretty good. And I'm hoping that I'll get a little bit more. Um, I have since been eating more pine berries and I think I have a bit of a an answer for why it is said to have a little bit more pineapple flavor to it, but I'll try it first and then we'll get to that. Okay. Hmm. Definitely tastes different. Mm. I'm not like a great connoisseur and like, oh, that has a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of maple and stuff like that. I'm not, 
my taste buds aren't that refined, okay? But um, it does taste different. Um, sweet, it has, so this, this is my thing. I feel like it has a little bit more acidity to it. It's a little bit more acidic tasting than the other two. And I think that's where a lot of that pineapple flavor claim comes from. It's just that fact that it's a little bit more acidic. It does taste a little bit different though. It is very sweet, especially because you let it ripen properly. Um, the flavor is a little bit different, but it's, it's not quite the same as a regular strawberry. I just wouldn't say it's pineapple either though, but I'm going to try one more. If I have another one, we might as well do that. Okay. It's uh, slightly smaller. This one is for my propagation plant here. Uh, ordinarily, they don't usually produce like too big and that's not really the reason why I grow them like this. I grow them like this because I propagate them and then I plant them out in one of my bigger containers where they get you know, better nutrition, better, better everything. But we'll try it anyways, because it does look very good and nicely ripe. So here we go. Hmm. Yeah, so that's the same as the other one. Yeah, just a little bit more acidic tasting. It's uh, sweet enough. It's definitely decently sweet. I would say it's a little bit less sweet than the Quinault and really any of the other strawberries, even than the store-bought one. Yeah, it's a little bit less sweet, a little bit more acidic tasting. It definitely has a little bit of unique flavor to it. So yeah, that's my opinion on all these three. I'm really glad that I got to try all three of them. I. Um, yeah, I'm really, really happy with my strawberry varieties. These two are definitely my favorites. They just, they produce a good sized strawberry. They have good flavor to them. They are kind of unique in their own way. That's another thing that I really like about um, like my different varieties. When I have a different variety, I want there to be something that's a little bit more unique or different about it. So the fact that these ones are of course, kind of like white with a big blushing is, is quite nice. It has a little bit of uniqueness to it. So these two are my favorite. Uh, this one is, is a June berry variety, which basically means that it uh, produces once a year and then it's done. Whereas these ones are something that's called an ever bearing variety. So as long as the conditions are good outside, it's uh, not too cold, it's getting plenty of light and everything else, then they're just gonna produce strawberries. And that's just what I really like about it. And to kind of top it off, they produce bigger strawberries. I mean, that's kind of, makes it a winner in my book <laughs> so thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed and i hope you found it informative and we'll see you in the next one tot de volgende keer